So yeah, I like FPSs. Uh, what can I say? There's nothing like the rush of hunting people down and killing them. Hey guys, you're back with Impatient Gamer, and I'll be playing some more Evolve today. This time I'll be giving you some more tips and tricks on how to get experience and level up very quickly. Um, this time though, it'll be for how to level up to gain your buffs. So what you're going to want to do is, once again, we're going to go to solo, and then go to custom game type. And then we're going to go to map and mode, and we're going to go to evacuation. The reason we're doing evacuation is it gives a huge uh, experience boost at the very end, which we're going to be doing a way to get there really quickly. In order to do what I'm going to be showing, you need to unlock the Wraith. And if you don't have the Wraith, you can go check out my other video, which will show you how to unlock the characters very quickly and level up their attacks very quickly. So now that we have the map and the mode, uh, which is evacuation, we'll go to extras. Extras, we're going to put monster as favored, wildlife population to high, evacuation handicap to off, reinforcement time to two minutes, strikes to zero, and the bottom three is belief on. We're doing this to give the monster the biggest advantage as he possibly get, as we will be playing as a monster and there's no handicap or no debuff for making yourself get more of an advantage against the humans. So once we're done with that, we can start the game and we'll be playing as monster. Once again, you need to play as the Wraith for this as far as I know. It'd be really tough to do it with any other class because we will be trying to kill the hunters and stage one the second they drop out of their ship every time. How we're going to be doing this is we're going to abuse the race supernova attack, which makes them swing ridiculously fast and just murder everything in front of them, basically. Uh, you can kill them so quickly that they are not able to fight back quick enough to kill you if you take them out in the correct order. So we're able to end this entire evacuation, which is five missions, in about 15, 15 minutes or so, give or take, versus on multiplayer, one round would last 15 minutes. This would be really quick, a uh, really good way to quickly level up and gain all the buffs that you need. Some of the later buffs are really good. My favorite one was the 75% increased smell range, which is amazing for PvP. So, we're gonna go to the Wraith, and we're gonna put all three points into Supernova. We're gonna do this every time. Because Supernova is like the engine of this. And then I put it on increased damage output. Uh, you could go with something else, but increased damage output will probably be your best bet. Then you're gonna wanna go to customize your team, take Val off, and put Lazarus on. Because we can't have them healing up, that'll give them enough time to kill us. And then we're gonna take Hang off and put Bucket on, which will once again, no shields and no health regening. I take Maggie off because the Harping Traps can be annoying, and I put Griffin on. And then for the last one, you can really do what you want. I'd suggest take Macro of all, because Arc Mines do a ton of damage and we're always on the ground. Uh, Hyde's Flamethrower does a lot of damage when he's close, which you're constantly going to be close. So I go with the Shotgun, but he has Super Soldier. And you hit B and deploy. So what we're going to be doing is during the first couple seconds, we're going to find food as fast as possible, that is as close to our spawn as possible because we don't want to wander off from the spawn area. Uh, we're going to eat, get as much shields as we can, and then once the dropship's coming, we wait for them to land and pop a supernova. We'll kill Lazarus first, and then it really doesn't matter who gets killed next. Assault is a really good idea to kill second, but it won't, it won't break you if you don't get that right. Um, Lazarus, you need to make sure you get him down because you, we have it on zero strike, so everyone automatically dies, which means Lazarus can always heal people. But if you get Lazarus down, that means there's no way to get Lazarus back up for the next two minutes until he redeploys. Because we have the redeploy rate on for uh, two minutes. And we are the one that has the human stay here, so that would be some really quick, easy food. Since we have very little shields, it actually might give us a pull. The drawback on the Wraith is that it has very little shields, but the plus is that it has a ton of uh, DPS and is very good at stealthy. We're going to be abusing the DPS part of it though. So we're going to stay here and wait for this ship to drop. I'm going to go and just kill this guy. Maybe I need to be in the middle of this fight if something goes wrong. Alright, and here they come. And we're just going to wail on them. 
I targeted Bucket, which is not what we're supposed to do. Um, you need to get Lazar first, but he's all the way over here, and it might blur Lazar out to me. See, Lazar is trying to go invisible. That's why you need to hit him first. So try to go invisible and get the heals. Alright, we got to him in time before he heals. But now we, re we really need to make sure Lazar's down. Okay, Lazar's down. So then, we will actually ignore him and go for Griffin. Because Griffin likes to run away, the Assault likes to stay behind sometimes. Um, they'll start running away when they start all dying. Which we don't want to run away, we're trying to do this as quick as possible, so we need them all to be there with us. Alright, and that was, that was one round. Probably took like two or so minutes. It took maybe a little bit longer than normal. Because uh, I was chasing Lazarus all over the place because I'm going to stand still. And we'll constantly be getting these buffs, so this time I think it's where I have a Goliath fighting with me, which makes this even easier when we sit on the spawn and have Goliath right there with us to fight. Okay, so that took a minute and a half, a little bit less. You're never gonna play a multiplayer game really, first it takes a minute and a half to win. They actually didn't give me my experience bonus for winning the match, or even playing in the match, I don't know why they did that, but whatever. So what we are doing this for is the large experience boost at the very end for beating uh, Defend and for um, winning every single match. So we can see that we are going to be killing a whole bunch of people and they will not be saving a lot, which will give us a huge experience bonus at the very end. This entire thing, uh, it's the same strategy. We are going to be, uh, we are going to be killing them right as they drop out of the ship, and getting as much shit as we can early as possible. Uh, but I'll be back after I finish all five rounds, or after I finish all four rounds. I'll be back for the last fifth round to talk you through that one because it's slightly different. See you then. fought our way through the entire evacuation story missions from the first four. Now we're on the fifth one, which is defend. For defend, you have a minion that follows you around. Or no, sorry, you have two minions that follow you around to try to destroy power relays before the ship can escape. So what we're going to do is, once again, we're going to go with pull out force and try to go through as quick as possible. Clearly, as that will be the fastest way to get experience, is to go quick. 
you need to be a little bit more careful about doing defend though, because there's a lot more stuff shooting you, and they don't uh, stop coming in just for killing them, they just spawn back a bit later. But once again, we will be going as a Wraith, because it has the good burst damage. Three and Supernova, and then three and Supernova is the most important thing. Put three and work blast, and then I put three into a decoy. You can set it up however you want. At this point, it's basically just fighting and trying to do as fast as possible. Level, we will have a huge experience bonus, probably around 6,000. So, what it normally is, just over 6,000 again. Go ahead and skip this video, there's not anything we really see. So, I believe we started at level 10, we're level 12 now, and we're about to get the big experience boost. 6,000 bring us to level 13, not 8. Or bring us all the way through it. Yep. And that is why this is the fastest and best way to level up quickly. It takes it about a minute and a half to two minutes, was the average of what I just took to get here. And this last mission took nine minutes. Last mission does take a little while. But altogether, we took 18 minutes, and around normally will last 15 to 20 minutes. So it's a pretty good time. We got about three levels I believe. Well, if you liked this video and found it useful and found my tips to be good, please leave a like and comment down below. And if you want to see more stuff like this from me in the future, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed.